Why is True Name a $100 card on Magic Online? It's a $100 card on Magic Online because Wizards of the Coast wants you to play Standard. They don't want you to play Legacy. This hand's a little bit medium, but I think it's pretty hard to pass up Swift Spear backed up by Day's Force on the play. Um, if we had some cantrips, especially a Brainstorm, this hand just gets kind of insane. Yeah, I don't, I really don't understand why True Name's not in Treasure Chess. Like, it's such an easy, elegant fix. Is it, is it in chess? Is it? I'm pretty sure it's not. I could be wrong. Unless they have to, I know for a while it was not in treasure chess. I agree, Paints. I agree. Wizards is in it for standard, which, you know, maybe they should have thought about that before they released a bunch of bad standard formats in a row. Oops, did I say that out loud? Thank you, missed my previous question. Have you read issues with Twitch when you upload the videos it should be so quickly? No, I've never had any issues with that, ReQQ. Force is a good pickup. Trop, trop probe could be a couple different things. I'm gonna play the land out. So I have this days, since I have the days to pick something back up with. How will you get on the streamer showdown talking like that? So here's, here's the dirty little secret about the streamer showdown. I don't play fucking limited. Get out of here with that. We play sweet formats. This is, this is the show where we play the formats Wizards of the Coast doesn't want you to tell your kids about. These are all the dirty shows. Uh, first off, Teddy Jr., I would like to kindly request that you don't use cancer as a derogatory or insultive manner like that. It's a very serious disease that afflicts a lot of people, and it's very rude to use it as a descriptor for something in a children's card game. As to your actual question, um, I think Ataxian Probe is a card which, from a game design perspective, is an offensive and poorly designed card that I really wish uh, wasn't legal. Dan Both, thank you very much for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that next level of support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We play the people's format, yep. If you go on my YouTube channel, XXIV, and uh, in any of the YouTube videos underneath them in the video description, you can copy and paste the deck list from there. Ooh, you know what I like when my Gitaxian probes deal an extra damage. What deck are you playing, opponent? Basic Island could mean Storm, could mean Brew, could be Show and Tell. Looks like Storm. I actually don't think this matchup's that bad for us. Oh! Oh, the Moto update was supposed to fix this, right? Do these go in the revealed card zone yet? Nope. Well, I'm glad I'm glad I screenshotted it, because I could have sworn Magic Online said that that was supposed to be fixed. Brainstorm, Gitaxian Probe. Um, I think I want to just draw the Swift Spear this turn, right? And then we'll jam the Swift Spirit next turn. We'll go like Probe for plus two into Brainstorm. That sounds, that sounds ridiculously hot. Hard was it to convince Christy to do this cam girl stuff full time? Well, I didn't really have to convince her, right? When it started, when it started making money, like like money equivalent to an actual job, she was like, "Yeah, we can treat this like an actual job." Bagaboosh, however you want to use words outside of my channel, you're welcome to use things that are rude and insensitive however you would please. 
If you want to partake in the chat on my channel, you're going to have to adhere to the standards that I make. So I would prefer that you don't use cancer in the way that it was used there. And if you have a problem with that, go watch someone else who streams. There's plenty of Twitch channels on here where you can scream profanities and use all sorts of insults that are rude and insensitive. And here, I would just prefer that we don't do that. I need to turn off the MTG bot thing. It has some kind of weird timer on it. Yeah, it's so weird. And I'm sure like, there's a lot of people that come here that they're not used to that. There's a lot of people that stream on Twitch that are just like desperate to have an audience and will put up with endless amounts of shit to have an audience. And I just, if you want to not be a decent person, you know, you don't need to be here. Duress. Uh, yeah, this is fine. So now that I'm a subscriber, may I please let it get, get a type out? Blood Moon is great. <laughs> if you want to come back before that's up, Dan, just whisper a mod. <laughs> I am so happy that time getting timed out some meme on this channel. <laughs> All right, so they have they have a few cards still here. They did brainstorm and crack a fetch, so we don't know guaranteed everything that they have at this point, but it's probably safe to assume it's probably safe to assume this is gone, but Ritual, Tutor, maybe Tendrils they still have. They, they probably got rid of the Tendrils too. I'd be willing to bet they shuffled away the Tendrils and the Tutor. I do have some sweet Mack Weldon clothes. This polo is in fact made by Mack Weldon. It's quite comfortable. Are there any limited formats you enjoy or you just don't like them in general? There's been limited formats historically that I've enjoyed playing, but in general, playing limited doesn't give me out of a TCG, what I'm looking for in a TCG. I generally, when I'm playing a card game, I'm looking, I'm like, I like to tune things and I like to problem solve. And I feel like a lot of the interesting part of limited is in, in the initial deck building. And while there are transferable skills as you practice and get better at limited, it's not, um, it's not always directly applicable. I feel they have four cards left. Am I supposed to just force this? I'm probably supposed to just force this, right? They've already played their land. Yeah, I'm just gonna force this. Four months of memes and yet you never type me out, Renners. Thank you very much for the third of the year support. I do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Yeah, I agree. I agree. If they, didn't, if they didn't think they could beat the force, they wouldn't be casting the ritual. It's usually right to force the ritual. That's true. Like I said, there are some limited formats I enjoy. At the same time, though, Burgle, Hex doesn't offer a way to earn value in Constructed. So, like, my tolerance for playing limited is higher when I can earn prizes and couldn't earn prizes playing Constructed. So, like, Magic Online, I can earn prizes playing Constructed. I couldn't do that in Hex. Why force there instead of days? Because they could pay for the days. They had Tropical Island. They could, they have Tropical Island. I'm really not a fan of the Loom decks in general. They're just kind of clunky and slow. Haven't gotten a timeout, but still feel like getting one for old time's sake. Thank you for the 11 month resubscription. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. All right, so they kept... Wow, so they actually couldn't, oh, were they just gonna value tendrils me? They were just gonna value tendrils me to gain health there, huh? That's interesting. Lightning bolt is not quite, lightning bolt, lightning bolt's exactly lethal. Lightning bolt and chain lightning are both lethal here. Um.
I'm gonna put these back. I'm gonna crack this fetch land. And I'm gonna try and find a way to kill them. Forked Bolt is also lethal. You also find Dazes and Force here. Ding. Taylor Swift Spear in the house. That's not how miracle works. You should read how miracle works. You should you should read how miracle works. Oh, brainstorm in their upkeep. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. That gives them a chance to Nope, they don't have any instance. Yes, you are correct, actually. You do know how Miracle works, and you are correct. All right, let's bring in these cards and these cards. I'm gonna trim these Chain Lightnings and these Forked Bolts and these Price of Progresses. That's pretty clean. To put Modern Coin Flips slightly above other decks, thanks for the stream, thanks for the bits. And we actually had someone else earlier donate for Modern Coin Flips as well, so I'll get, uh, I'll get those noted. For reference, I always move up everything at the end of the stream. I'll get those added at the end too. Thank you for the tip. That gives chat four points. Uh, Pyroblasts are probably fine here. This card's probably not quick enough, right? We'll be playing Modern tomorrow afternoon, so. Do I want Surgical in this matchup? Real, realistically, I don't see myself playing, I'm gonna cut this actually. I don't see myself playing standard unless there's suddenly an exodus of people interested in seeing modern. As long as, as long as modern is interesting and fun to play and there is a high demand for people that wanna see, see uh, modern and legacy, I just really don't feel like branching out into other formats. Surgical's okay. I'm not super high on surgical when you don't have discard spells in your deck in this matchup. Bedlam, like we do cast a lot of spells in this deck and like Bedlam often costs two mana as opposed to, as opposed to three. So I think I like keeping the Bedlams in. The only standard card I want to see more of is Scarab God, right? So the first opening hand against Burn and Sirius Lund wondered why you had an Urborg and why then you tapped the fetch for mana with the tracker. Yep. Yeah, the Urborg was interesting. I don't know if the Urborg was worthwhile overall in that mana base, but it definitely did work in that game. Yes, you are. I would have to do that during my opponent's upkeep, though. I would have to do that during my opponent's upkeep. Because Miracle only works if it's the first card you've drawn for for the turn. So you are right that I could have made Miracle work if I would have done it during their upkeep. And because we knew my opponent didn't have any instants, that would have been fine. Aggressive brainstorm here. I guess they know we have a bunch of counter spells. We're playing magic. Well, they we know the opponent has Magic the Gathering cards, so that means Surgical Extraction is going to be pretty reasonable. Pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. Actually, this was a mistake, right? Was I supposed to? I think I was supposed to lead on the Swift Spear because I could pitch that Delver to Force, right? I don't know. That's close, I guess. That's close. I could see that swinging either way. Getting more pressure down is ideal. 
would I ever do a vintage league? We've done some vintage in the past. It's just vintage just isn't popular because it's not accessible. Like people are more interested in seeing formats of magic that they can play at home. And vintage is not a format people can really play. What's going on, Zach? I feel like it's been a while. Hope you're doing well. All right, wandering one. <sighs> magic the Gathering. I think it's worth letting them know what all the cards in my hand are to be able to shuffle a bad card off the top of my deck next turn. The Canadian Wanderer with the six-month three subscription. Half a year. Thank you, thank you, and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. Uh, Green-White Elves would be a fine deck. We've played Elves on stream a few times before. I think that's very reasonable right now. Also preparing my body for this Dallas Limited GP. So, as always in Legacy, really want to draw a brainstorm here so we can shuffle these lands away. Ayo! Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. If you want to know why I'm so lucky, lucky because I got this sweet shirt. Check them out. Mac Weldon. Bit.ly forward slash Google close. Fell in 3,000 with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome. I do appreciate that, as always. Subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here, so thank you for helping me do what I do every day. Unfortunately, that brainstorm wasn't particularly good, but we got another redraw here. We get to getting to pull their pants down and like know what we need to play around here is pretty big. Their hand is pretty rotten, has a whole lot of nothing going on. Do 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 do. Unfortunately, our hand's not getting too much better ourselves. Let's just get in here. That being said, every time we hit our opponent here, their, their ad nauseums become more unplayable, right? Are you gonna negotiate an appearance for you to wear the Mac Weldon shirt at the next open? <laughs> I was playing some Hearthstone earlier today with the Temple Mage deck you were playing. Have you had the unfortunate luck of getting Doomsayer off the Crow? I've actually not hit Doomsayer off the Crow yet, but uh, Andrew, one of my buddies, has sent me screenshots of that twice now, I think. But I'm, I'm very lucky because I have, you know, this polo. Makes me lucky. Opponent in the tank here. Are we dead? Am I dead yet? All right. I like the green blacklist without Dark Confidant. So the build we played two leagues ago. Um... No, I gave Blizzard a bunch of money. I I don't mind paying for good software and fun games, and uh, Hearthstone is both good software and a fun game. It's very well done. Very, very well done. So they have Past in Flames, Infernal Tutor in hand. I do not still play Hex. I haven't been playing that recently. I've mostly been playing Hearthstone on my tablet. So like, you know, after I'm done streaming for eight hours, I really don't want to like get back on the computer and start streaming more or playing more games all the time. So being able to play Hearthstone on my tablet or my cell phone has been great. Yeah, I've tried Eternal. They're very good software, but their gameplay just doesn't do it for me. 
They're making your magic is a bad best of one game and eternal is basically magic that's all best of one which i find very miserable i also find their mulligan system very frustrating and lazy yeah i think it's right to force here right they've been this past in flames but like even if they flash this back they don't get anywhere right I mean, they could just get tendrils and like value tendrils me. Yeah, yeah, they already have past and flames in the bin. And if they flash back this past and flames, they only have two mana left over, which doesn't leave them with a lot to do. So I think this is right. And again, we're in a position where we really want to draw a brainstorm, right? And close their hand. Cantrip into Bolt is lethal, yep. Best of one is terrible because when your game has resource variance in it, best of one doesn't give you a chance to recover, recover from resource variance. Oh, you're agreeing with me that best of one is terrible, yeah. I just, yeah. Not, Hearthstone not having resource variance in it removes a lot of the, the variance that a, a, a card game has, or at least compared to Magic. Just Bolt is lethal? Yeah, just Bolt is lethal, right? Double Cantrip is also lethal. That's two prowess triggers. Since they, since they, what's it called? They use the probe. They know I've got nothing. It is Dan Buff. This is gonna be a brainstorm. They're digging here. I, I think the opponent was right to try and go off here. Like we had four cards in our hand, so like they were likely dead on our next turn anyway. So like even though they're trying to go off with minimal resources here, they they kind of have to because I'm likely to put them dead next turn anyways. Uh, Ant plays green usually for sideboard um, abrupt decay or uh, Xantid Swarm occasionally as well. So hopefully they brick off here. They're not, actually not dead if we if we draw blank next turn too though. So like they know that we have nothing. So like they could just like pass and not burn this Lotus Petal and like hope to have another turn here. But the fact that they've already used a pass in flames likely means that they're not gonna have enough tools to go off next turn. There aren't any best of threes in client, Tom. They manually do best of threes in out of client tournaments, which just sounds really clunky and awkward. Ground seal, yeah, ground seal, carpet of flowers. Those are those are four cards that Storm occasionally plays green for. I'm at, I am not streaming with the kids anymore. So um, with, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, with uh, my morning streams, I'm still doing some morning streams on Thursday and Friday where Declan's hanging out in the background with his tablet so he occasionally pipes up. But starting this summer, we're gonna be doing full-time daycare since this is making enough money to be an actual job. So I'm reinvesting that money back into making the stream a more, a little bit more professional setting. Well, as professional as it can be with me as the person bouncing around on the screen at least. <laughs> Where am I going to get my dose of verbal birth control now? That's, that's true, buy lots of condoms. Condoms are great. 
Cantrips or bolts, cantrips or burn spells, cantrips or burn spells, cantrips or burn spells. Uh, my sponsor asked to only be listed on Twitch directly. And YouTube, obviously, because I upload to YouTube. So that was that was at my sponsor's request. I promise we're not here because of the profession. That's fair. That's fair. And while a number of people, you know, the kids are adorable and they didn't take that much away from me personally while I was producing content, I do know that kids being loud is a distractor overall from the stream. So if we can reach more people by not having them squealing in the background, it's probably worthwhile. Condom sponsor in the future. <laughs> Durex, you're not currently a stream sponsor, but if you're out there, it could be. We just put Declan's face on the ad. <laughs> and the kids are cute. And like, when I do evening streams, I'm sure we're still gonna have occasional kid cameos, but we are pretty much, what is what is this? Just random, okay, sure, player word back, sure. Um, just, you know, there's not gonna be any more one summer starts of me changing diapers midstream and stuff like that. <laughs> Direct over, should we, should we? <laughs> <laughs> uh. How will we beat the speed diaper records? That's true. They chose to shuffle there. Hopefully that means we're not dead. When is the next Klutz Mad Adult Beverage stream? I don't know. I have a bunch of alcohol in the fridge again though, so it could be sooner rather than later. All right. If they have a Past and Dark Petition, okay. Do they have a second? Does this deck play two Past and Flames? No, you can have kids on stream. Is this a value tendrils? Nope, they have a second pass in flames, okay. But they don't, they only have one ritual. Okay. Right? And they already played a land for the turn. I don't think they can do anything here. If we get a condom sponsor, we should probably get a dental dam sponsor. <laughs> <sighs> I think, I don't know. Okay, okay. They're, they're working outside the box here, so this lets them cast the ponder that's in their discard pile. I don't know what the storm count is too. This also lets them infernal tutor for tendrils, right? Praise be from Amazon live chat for helping me fix my Twitch Prime. Well, I'm glad you got the Twitch Prime fixed, Langler. Thank you very much for the 11 month three subscription. Thank you for poking at it and figuring out what was wrong. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I think we're dead. I don't know, there's no storm count in play, so. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, wow. Props to the opponent. That was a, that was a clutch game. Um, we had to obviously draw very poorly at the end here, but the opponent played that very well. They had very, very minimal resources and managed to go off with it. Any spell, we would have killed them there. Like they had to have, they had to have actual everything. Like even days at the end there would have been enough to cut them off of, cut them off of what they had going on. Yeah, that was a really good line on their side. Definitely not not a straightforward or intuitive line for for storm. We do get to play a third game on the play here though, so hopefully we can have a fast start mixed with some permanent base disruption this time maybe.
Maybe run them down. Draw a couple less lands, maybe. I think price is too clunky, yeah. <laughs> this hand is more than good. It's great. I don't think Storm is a particularly good legacy deck. Every time I've played with or against it, it feels kind of anemic. It consistently doesn't put up good results. But at the other fl the flip side of that coin is we don't really have objective data. So like what I'm talking about is just my feelings. So keep that in mind. I know a bunch of Storm players that think they have good Grixis Delver matchups, but maybe they're just better Magic players than the average Grixis Delver player they play against because it always feels really good when I played it on the Grixis Delver side of the table. I think I'm going to be aggressive with this brainstorm here and just flip this dude over. That feels really bad. Um, well. Um... Surgical yourself, get out of here. I think this is this is fine. We have a lot of tools here. And like next turn I can go swift spear, uh cast the probe. Like we're not we're not in a good spot, but we're not in a terrible spot either. And like next turn I pick the Delver up, and uh drawing the Delver allows me to have another card to pitch the force of will, which is nice. I think Black Red Reanimator is great. We've streamed with that a bunch recently. Check the YouTube archives. It's a deck people ask for pretty consistently because not only is it powerful, but it's really explosive, which I find to be a lot of fun. I think if you're I think if you're looking for a degenerate combo deck to play in Legacy, Black Red Reanimator is the best one to play. I think in Legacy. A lot of the time, the decks that are the best decks in the format are much better than the worst decks. Like, the difference between the first best deck in Legacy and the 10th best deck in Legacy is much larger than the first best deck in Modern and the 10th best deck in Modern. One of the reasons why Modern has so much more variety than a format like Legacy is the power level is more flat. The things that are the best decks aren't quite as good compared to the decks that are truly busted. Is Black Red Cheap? I am, I am blissfully ignorant of how much magic cards actually cost by and large. I don't own magic cards. So. All right, where's my stippin' tool? They have a duress and a dark ritual here. Ding, okay. Um. Hmm. I think I want to just play this Delver. Because, like, if they duress me... They probably are going to take the force anyway, so like holding it for the force doesn't accomplish much for me. Although I guess they might they might take the surgical the way their hand is, so maybe I'm supposed to keep the delver if they want to take the surgical. I am leaning towards black green as my deck of choice for the open. I need to figure out all the details, but that's definitely the deck I'm thinking about playing. Assume they're gonna lead on duress here. I 
I guess they can take days now and then I only have surgical. No, they took the force. Okay, that's interesting. If they're taking the force, that means they're not going off this turn. They are going for it. I think I'm just going to daze this. The reason to daze this here is because it makes my opponent tax the extra mana. That's all this card's going to do anyways. So I think I'd like I'd like that. Gets the extra instant sorcery in my bin sooner. Yep. So they have... They haven't cast a brainstorm, so they have Tutor, LED, Past and Flames, Ponder. That's one, two, three, four. They have one card I don't know. It could be another discard spell. I guess casting the Days gives them an extra storm count that maybe I don't have to give them. They drew a duress. And now I definitely, I definitely don't want a surgical here because surgical not only adds one to the storm count, but it also takes two points of health off for me. Their last three, their last four cards are tutor, LED, past and flames, ponder. So they actually can't, well, can they? If they, no, if they play LED and crack LED, they can't go off this turn, right? If they play LED, crack LED, they only have five mana, which flashes back past flames, but then doesn't do anything. Is taking their rituals away good enough? Like they might struggle to generate storm count this game. So like being two points of health lower is relevant. I think the two life is more important. They can tutor for LED and then LED and then cast a single dark ritual. How is tutor for LED deterministic? So this leaves them, this let, let's, let's do math, shall we? I've got 10 minutes here. Let's just get a shitty notepad out. Um, so LED crack is red red double black floating cast tutor leaves them triple red get led gives them red 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 black 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 and then they can cast this dark ritual out of their bin which would give them red 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 and then four black but that doesn't no, it doesn't, it doesn't leave them there because this this is cast past in flame, leaves them just black. And then cast dark ritual, leaves them triple black. But that doesn't do anything, right? Well, the, the past in flames in their hand would go to the graveyard. So they crack LED and have this. They, they, cast, they cast tutor. They cast, they, this is out of order, but they cast Tutor and then they, they LED crack. So cat, they have black, black. They cast Tutor and crack LED to have triple red. And then the Tutor gets an LED and then the LED puts them to triple red, triple black. And then they cast Past and Flame, flashing that back costs them five, which leaves them with single black. And then... Yeah, I think, I think we just, because we can't die this turn, right? They only have one ritual. This is like what the Storm player is doing in, in reverse, right? And like, even if you never have any intention of playing Storm, being able to understand and do this math gives you an advantage in positions like this to determine accurately what, what you're supposed to do, basically.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this duress just resolves. But how do they crack the second LED? No, LED can only be activated as an instant. It requires you to discard your hand. So you can just crack LED with no cards in hand. Watch me have missed something and die, but I'm pretty sure the math says I can't die this turn, so we'll see. I like math. I like solving puzzles. And doing math is basically just solving a bunch of puzzles. Okay. 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 So they're gonna cantrip into ritual plus thing. Okay. So they get a bunch of looks here. So I was supposed to surgical the ritual to cut them off of this. Okay, that makes sense. If I surgical the ritual, they can't do this. So they need to find I mean, they're in a bad spot, right? It's like last game, right? Like we put them under pressure with our disruption and like they're able to play through some of it, but like they kind of just have to go for it, right? They chose to shuffle, that's good for us. I couldn't surgical the tutor, the tutor was in their hand. Otherwise, yeah, you'd surgical the tutor. If they hit ritual plus natural tendrils here, we could die. They, get, they have to put two of these cards back. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, just going to let it out. Legacy Hype, Northern Duncan. Thank you very much for the two-month three subscription. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. Ponder, yes, reveal that one. Because taking two health is not free. Sometimes they come up short on... Sometimes they come up short on storm count. This is just a shuffle, right? Because this isn't lethal, it's only nine. Opponent commenting that they think I said surgical there. I was like, I was telling them I didn't think about the third LED line. Maybe I should have kept the other Swift Spear to turn off their fetch lands. Yes, yeah, it means two less storm because it gives them a free storm count and it takes two health away from us. This deck's very good. Um, I think we 4 won the last three leagues I've played with this. I, I want to say we 4 won the last three leagues I've played with this. My graduate degree was just a generic math degree, just from a state school. They didn't, they didn't want to charge me to go. I worked as a TA, so I went to school for free. Uh, at any rate, before we talk a little bit more about me, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's hanging out here today. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. My name is Jeff Hogan. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. If you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to my channel on Twitch. Subscriptions start at $4.99 a month. 
And if you are a one of the many people in the world who has Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime included with that for free, and that gives you a free channel subscription to a channel of your choice every single month. It costs you nothing extra and still supports the Twitch, Twitch creator the same. You can also support myself by supporting my sponsors, mtgotraders.com. I'd love to buy and sell Magic Online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Coolstuffinc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Mac Weldon would love to provide you with some premium men's clothing. Uh, you can save 20% on your first order from them using special code Jeff Hoagland, and you can check that out at bit.ly forward slash hoogleclothes. At any rate, we are 1-0 and in this league with Delver Burn. We played a league with Land Nauseam earlier today. We've got Jeskai Blade and Nick Shift coming up here before we wrap up in a few hours from now. If you're in, thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. If you missed the matches earlier, be sure to check out my YouTube. I archive everything on there. How did Land Nauseam go? We went 4-1. and one. Four and one. That deck's really sweet, too. A Tony V with the $20 donation. Thank you for that. Elves and bump them. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you for the donation. I'll get that into the queue here later tonight. Anyways, into the second match. Pretty easy mulligan here. Five lands, force. If this force was a brainstorm, I'd probably keep this hand because brainstorm forgives all sins, but that hand's just not good enough. This hand doesn't have a threat, but these cards could be anything. I'm gonna bottom a second force here, just like looking looking for a threat here. Want the most possible chances to find one. I would like to kill this with fire. Like to kill this with fire. Yeah, you can definitely get by with only, with less than four volcanic islands. I think four is optimal, but I think the number of percentage points you gain from going to two to four really is aren't that huge. So if you're playing less than four, you're probably fine. Death Rite Shamans and other Delver decks are the reason why I have Forked Bolt as kind of a ninth Lightning Bolt, just like lots of extra ways to kill creatures they can put into play early. We're playing a deck that has both blue, blue, and red, red spells. So being able to fetch more dual lands after we've been wastelanded is pretty valuable, I think. So I definitely think you want to play as many volcanic islands as you have access to. But again, there's going to be plenty of situations where you still get to play reasonable magic with only two Valks or one Valk or whatever. Whoa, huh. Yeah, I'm gonna fight over this. I think I would like to take this off the table. I think if, they, if they're willing to force, I'm willing to force back there. You definitely don't wanna just play four fast lands and no duels, like, to, cause fetches are a thing, right chat? Baleful Strix is annoying. I know that my top card is a land right now, so I'm going to crack this fetch before we draw next turn. We have four instants and sorceries in our bin, so if they give us something to daze this turn, we actually get to cast Bedlam next turn. Now, fingers crossed. There's also a lot of turns where, like, you want to go Bedlam Reveler plus Lightning Bolt in the same turn, and you need triple red to do that. Maybe I'm supposed to daze there and just slam this bedlam. Yeah, I think letting that resolve was wrong. I think I was supposed to daze there. That was wrong. We drew a land though, because this is a no justice stream. <laughs> I 
That's great. I'm gonna hold this for next turn because it gives us a prowess trigger on here. Let me tell you about my friend Bedlam Reveler, ladies and gentlemen. Sit on down, I'm gonna tell you a story about the treasure cruise that came with the 3-4 that beat my opponent to death. It's a good, good story. Diabolic Edict, that's rude. All right, give me some removal spells and stuff that I can cast here, hopefully, to get my hand empty. Okay, Brainstorm plus Bedlam is like actually a combo because you get to put the cards back on top of your deck that you want to draw into with Bedlam so you don't have to discard them. And in this case, we're gonna put this back, put this back, crack this fetch for a Volk, bolt them, or bolt Deathrite Shaman, and then cast Bedlam Reveler. And again, this is a situation where like, if I didn't have a third Volk in my deck, I couldn't take this line this turn. Again, gonna hold on to this probe because it can trigger prowess on this later. It also gives me a little bit more information. I guess maybe I'm not supposed to hold on to the probe because they have, yeah, I should have played the probe because they have Leovold in their hand. The Leovold in their hand means I, I got lucky like I always do and I didn't the shirt, I swear. Um, and they didn't draw the green source, but they drew the green source, we'd get, we'd get punished there. Okay. <laughs> oh, baby. Woo, doggy. All right, let's take a screen, take a quick peek boo of that one. How we how we doing over there? How we doing tonight, chat? Woo! Are they, are they dead yet? They're getting pretty close to dead, right? All right. Um. So this is eight. This is four. So that's twelve. This is gonna put them to one if they want to. Oh, they can't even deluge, right? No, they can deluge and go to one. Your move, Yugi boy. This is all I got. This is all I have. Sure. Yep. They're so lucky. Drew a baleful strix. This is this is unreal. How lucky they are. <laughs> it just you just can't even be mad after how well we've run so far. Just can't even be mad. <laughs> mm. If you want to smork people, let me tell you about a deck that lets you smork people, chat. This deck right here. In, get up, come on, get down with the smorking. You mothers, get up, come on, get down with the smorking. How does it feel? It feels great. This shirt is a quality material and it feels feels excellent. Did I just leave a daze in here? Probably a force, right? Oh, smash. Smash kills Baleful Strix. Smashy, smashy. Uh, the modern decks I'm picking between for the Louisville Open are Black Green Rock, Just Kind of Hiri, and Blue Red Prison. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully our enchantments steal this game. Sulfuric Vortex and Blood Moon are both very, very good in this matchup. 
See, Teddy Jr., you get it. You get it. <laughs> I can't I can't play a creature combo deck. I've I've registered many a creature combo decks that opens and I just I just need a break from them. How much better than Legacy Burn does this deck feel? Um, I This deck, in my mind, is like playable Legacy Burn. It's got a lot of the same elements that Legacy Burn has, but it has the good Legacy cards in it. It has the 20 Legacy cards you shouldn't... It has 16 of the 20 Legacy cards you shouldn't leave home without. You should be playing Delver, Brainstorm, Ponder, and Force... And the 20th is Deathrite Shaman. So if you're looking to win, those are the five cards you need to be showing up with. And this deck is showing up with four of them. So like, you know, you're mostly there. You're mostly there. <sighs> I'm gonna keep this hand because Brainstorm forgives all sins. I'm gonna keep this hand because Brainstorm forgives all sins. Black green is a creature combo deck. The combo is tireless tracker and land. That's fair. That's a that's an accurate assessment. Grixis does show up with all five. You're not wrong. <sighs> oh yeah. You forgot that's true. And we do play true name nemesis, so you know. We've got we've got most of the bases covered. I think the bot's having an aneurysm. Let's try it again. There we go. There we go. Smashy smashy. Sure. We do if this blood moon resolves, we do need to be careful about this chain lightning. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't even know who's on third. Uh, I don't think Storm is a very good deck in either format. How does it feel to be so lucky? Democracy to Kerber Seely. It feels great is the answer. Feels, feels great is the answer. This is, this is pretty decent. Um... We could get forced or spell pierced here. We can't get fluster storm though, so let's go. Denzi Red Shoes, what in the world is this deck? Wait, no, don't spoil for me. I want all the draws to be surprised. What's going on, Red Shoes? Thanks for the three month three subscription, a quarter of a year. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for continuing to help me do what I do here every day. I appreciate that. Please be a concession, Blood Moon. Please be a concession, Blood Moon. Please be a concession, Blood Moon. Survey says, oh. Red. Red. Can a monster plays basic island in their four color deck? Mmm, <laughs> that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one, yeah.
We do need to remember that they can redirect this chain lightning back at us. Important thing to remember, uh, these still count as non-basic lands under for price of progress. I'm gonna pay mana for this since we have Sulfuric Vortex in play. My sequencing here was backwards. I should've done this first, obviously. Oh, you know what? I probably should have bolted them at their end step too, right? To like try and put cards in the bin for Bedlam Reveler. Basic Swamp is terrifying. Woof. Red source, red source, red source. All right, I'll take it. That's really good for them. Maybe Vor maybe they're a little bit too aggressive for Vortex to be good in this matchup. Because, like, I can't chain lightning them either under the Blood Moon because of the Vortex. I've gone face with the Blood Moon. I think, I think smorking them with the bolts was wrong there. I think this will probably swing the race in our favor. Why didn't you red blast my treasure cruise opponent? Treasure cruise is blue, right? I don't why why didn't they red blast our treasure cruise, Chad? I don't understand. I don't I don't understand. They let my treasure cruise live. I didn't chain lightning chat because chain lightning they could spend mana to redirect back at me. And then we'd die to our sulfuric vortex. They have deluge here. I guess maybe I'm supposed to trade the delver there because that attack screams deluge. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to trade the Delver there because that attack screams Deluge. Jeez, we're going to lose this game, huh? To our, my Sulfuric Vortex. That's brutal. Yeah, I think I blocked wrong. So they'd be two lower. They'd be at three if I would have blocked with the Delver. I've got live draws to just not be out of it just yet, but definitely not in a good spot. Well, that... That's an option. That is certainly, that is certainly, do I just draw the game chat? Do we, do we go to game three? I'm going to keep this one as my ace, my ace in the hole, I think. I think I'm going to keep this one as my ace in the hole. We could draw a bolt next turn. We could draw a bolt next turn. Your move, Yuki boy. Trigger. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. oh, that was, that was razor thin. I think boarding in Vortex might have been wrong there, but I don't actually know. I could see arguments going in both directions for that for sure. 
Not killing Snap to send a message. <laughs> Can't be wrong, we won the game, right? <laughs> The shirt is that's true. That's true. I wasn't this lucky before the shirt. And here I here I am. Like I'm all grown up. All grown up. It seems fine. Having Bedlam in the opener kind of sucks, but hand's pretty good. If they're a Lion's Eye Diamond deck, this hand's not amazing, but against anything fair, this hand's quite excellent. And even against an unfair deck, if their hand's kind of slower, we have a lot of pressure. Remember, just, just like having a good honest race is fine a lot of the time. We play, we play a lot of cards that deal damages. I should buy one of those to improve my game. Hey, you can get 20% off your first one. First order. Sweet, sweet codes. I think Karn sounds really neat in Ancient Tomb decks. They are, I guess they could be Turbo Depths, right? Look, I, I've been working long and hard trying to get a food sponsor. If anybody knows, if anybody's aware of the fact that I really need a food sponsor, it's certainly me, okay? In the event that there's Storm and Drew there by you, I'm just sending both of these burn spells upstairs here. Just like make their ad nauseums worse. I don't, th I don't think, can you use your words? Why would Tin Fins be a horrible matchup for us? We have counter magic to disrupt them and we have a very quick clock. This is like the definition of a deck that's good against combo decks. Sure, sometimes the combo deck's just going to insta-gib you because that's why the combo decks in Legacy are good. Sometimes they just cheese people. But like, as far as decks go that can be good against combo decks, this deck ticks all of the boxes that you want to tick for being good against a combo deck. are in fact playing against Turbo Depths here. What you got? All right, so we're getting 2020 next turn. That's Battle.net, not my snipping tool. Hey, Libelik, thank you very much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can support what I do here. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that next level of support. We are one mana off of casting this Bethlehem Reveler, one Gitaxian Probe. They're going to seven here. Uh, price of progress could be lethal. The Delver does get to block for a turn two. No, that's not true. They have still been scrying for Sajiri Step. I wonder if they're just gonna make their 2020 at sorcery speed here. I think they're supposed to do this now. Not only is it player on Wasteland, but it plays around Price of Progress. I believe we're just drawing dead at this point. Uh, Windows doesn't have an always on top option, right? Doesn't doesn't look like it. Or one of these. The the window manager in the Windows operating system is like something straight out of 1995 as far as features go. It doesn't do half the things I got used to doing on Linux. Otherwise, I would put it always on top and put it over Magic Online. Yeah. 
This game is very close. Yeah, I think I think we're drawing dead though. I guess I guess brainstorm means we're not drawing dead, right? We could brainstorm into double burn and kill them. Because we have to chump block with the insectile aberration. We could brainstorm into like bolt bolt or bolt chain lightning or something like that. We've already used two of those though. Oh, Tundurous Wrath is lethal, chat. Tundurous Wrath is lethal. Let's go! Do you believe in miracles, chat? Do you do you believe in miracles? I believe in miracles. Beep deer. Beep beep deer. Beep deer. I believe in miracles. Do you do you? Beep beep deer. Beep deer. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, I should have just hard cast days. 10 on attention to hard cast days. Ah, uh, we drew the land, too. We drew the land, too. All right, well, that's really unfortunate. So I could have had this other land in play here, and then I would have bricked anyways. So we didn't get, we didn't draw out of it, but I definitely should have hard cast days. It's just autopilot. You're like used to casting days by returning a land. So I just, I didn't even think about it. Uh, Blood Moon is great here. Surgical Extraction is, you know, Surgical's probably not even good enough in this matchup just because like once their Dark Depths makes it into the discard pile, they have a 2020 and I can't win anymore. Forked Bolt's pretty bad here. Do I want to just trim some of the Chain Lightnings maybe? I guess True Name's pretty slow, right? Do this. I'm not gonna board in two of these, I'm board in one. On this game, I just ordered my shirt, now you lose. <laughs> oh. Sit down for a little bit. Enjoy the ride. This hand just doesn't do enough, right? Seems very good. Fetch a vault, play a threat, let the burn and eating commence. Surgical is fine against the Turbo Depths deck if you are combining it with cards like Wasteland. If you are combining it with a way to get the Dark Depths into their discard pile before they make a 2020, Surgical Extraction is perfectly fine. Without Wasteland, I agree that Surgical is not good against Turbo Depths, but I think saying generically that Surgical is bad in this matchup is, is false. I think it depends on the tools that you have to accompany that surgical, whether or not that surgical is going to be good. I like taking the brainstorm there. They can probably play through one force. Spend my mana while the spending is good. It's possible this deck could want like a couple of vapor snags or um Dead gone in the 75. Vapor Snag's probably not bad, especially with Bedlam Reveler. You can like reuse your Vapor Snag in the Bedlam Reveler. 
So if I, if I was expecting to play against a lot of Dark Depths with this deck, I think I would... Factory, that's, that's brutal for us. It doesn't even cost a mana to activate itself. We don't even know how many decks are death rate shaman decks because we don't really have good data. I just can't trade my only thread for this stupid factory. Oh, it couldn't pump itself this turn. Fuck. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's summoning sick. So you just missed, missed two points of damage. Yeah, that was a mistake. You're right. It's summoning sick. It wouldn't have been able to pump itself. So should have taken the chain lightning and sent it upstairs. And then smashed. They'd be at seven. Which makes more burn and price of progress is very, very lethal. Or closer to lethal, I should say. I think I need to force this, just not let them get their combo pieces. Yeah, I'm not really willing to trade the Swiss Fear for the pedal though. Yeah, it's not, it's not really relevant. Just gonna hold that for now. Man, this is really brutal. It's a shame this wasn't a Delver to run them down. That's kind of a tilt. I guess I should have just upstairs them. So like now I've missed, now I've missed five points of damage. They'd be at five. Feel particularly dumb right now. Small mistakes adding up. I'm gonna shuffle these. They don't let me get through this. <sighs> uh, I think which of those two cards you're playing depends on what deck you're playing, what your mana looks like, and what cards you're looking to be. There's a lot of variables that go into it. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I mean, Shattering Spree, Spree beats Chalice on one. How many lands are in this deck? 17? That's unreal. And remember, I effectively missed five points of damage this game. So even though we just got exceptionally unlucky on that Brainstorm, they'd they'd be dead. They'd be dead next turn. If they double crop rotate us, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. What's going on, Justin? You missed some land nauseam. Yep, all right, that's the beats. So definitely mismanaged that a little bit, but I think overall it ended up not mattering.
We have a new sponsor, Justin. We have a clothing sponsor. Check them out. Check them out. If MTG bot would be alive, damn it, bot. No, MTG bot won. Oh, did it just post it? It just posted it, that's why. Let's go down Parasail. Mac Weldon, premium men's clothing brand, is our new sponsor. You can check out their stuff at bit.ly forward slash who will close. And save 20% on your first order with them using code Jeff Hoagland. Twitch. Twitch just informed me that I have officially streamed for over 1,000 hours. It's a lot of hours. It's, does that come out to you? 1,000 divided by... 1,000 divided by 24. 41 days. Almost 42 days. That's, that's a lot of streams. It's a lot of streams. All right. Now I also look smart and thin. We always knew I was smart and thin, but now I look the part. It's great. Correct, Justin. I'm telling you, you should buy the good underwear. The Mac Weldon underwear. It's pretty good. It's got a brainstorm. No, no hand with a brainstorm can be that terrible, right? We have to wear underwear now. Your pants will will thank you for wearing underwear. Can I model? I actually didn't buy the underwear because I wanted to wear stuff I could show on stream. I would love for days to enter the revealed card zone. Um, hopefully brainstorm away this price of progress. To set up another Delver to flip at least. This, this start is likely miracles, not guaranteed, but likely. Nope. All right. And they saw, they saw days, right? So they know this days is here. <laughs> you can do it, little Delverino. I believe in you. I believe. We did. The Highland Street did. It was whispering sweet miracles into my ear. I was lied to. Don't done gone and lied to me. All right, let's do it. And the vortexes may seem odd to board in, but the vortexes allow us to take a hit from a gristle brand and still potentially win the game. This hand doesn't have a blue card for this force of will, but man, does Taylor push out a lot of damage in this hand. Man, does Taylor push out a lot of damage. They're eight drop better than RA. Confirmed. Confirmed they're eight drop better than RA drop. Maybe Wrath is better than these. I don't know. The lack of control from Tundurus Wrath could matter in this matchup for sure.
I believe in you, Taylor. This is a turn three kill. It's not quite, right? Wait, is it? This is seven down to 12. Yeah, I'm attacking for six and six next turn, right? Deal. Kill you. Who needs disruption? I just need burn spells. Burning it! Burning it! Mm, I'm going to burn this motherfucker to the ground. Burn it to the ground. Oh, uh, yeah, just. Just get them. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Does defense grid change my mind about this card? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Maybe this card's just too slow. Is eight threats enough though? I guess I can mulligan for them. If someone like you is playing a deck like this, how is Max Diamond skyrocketing? It's going on, Joe. <laughs> uh, I think there's people just buying out every reserve list card at this point. Yeah, I, I'd buy that. Actually, let's just go, let's do one of these and, and bring the Wrath back in. Just try and run them down. Because, like, you're never going to tag a pedal with Smash, right? It should be just defense grade. I'm pretty sure this is a keep. We only have nine threats in our deck, so not every hand can have a threat. And this this is enough disruption to hopefully live to find a threat here. Mox Diamond was one of the reserve list cards that got a small reprint, right, if I recall? I'm going to lead on Probe here because I would love to draw a threat here. It also gives us some information. Ooh, Pyroclasm is nasty. I don't have red mana or a cantrip, though. I'm just going to pass here. I want to be able to fluster. I want to be able to pyroblast a cantrip. I'm gonna go ahead and send this upstairs. At least gives me things to pitch to Force of Wills, I guess. The actual answer is that Paper Legacy is, is slowly going to die. If you want to play Legacy, you should probably focus on playing it on Magic Online. As sad as, sad as that is to say. I'm going to Flusterstorm this because Pyroblast will counter Show and Tell. So they have Pyroclasm... Gristle brand, and then one card I don't know. I'm going to hold on to this in case we draw a brainstorm. I'm not going to hold two lands, but holding. I guess that's wrong because I could. I could hard cast force with a fifth land. Yeah, holding that was wrong last turn. I should have just played it out. Ding. Ding. I 
This is aggressive, but I need to be aggressive to win, I think. Punished for playing out my fifth land. Huh. I'm just throwing those back for now. Looking for more threats and disruption at this point. Um, I think I'm okay just drawing some spear here. I don't know that I want that vortex that's on top of my deck though. I guess it triggers prowess next turn and like puts them on a clock. It beats the gristle brand gaining health too. Yeah, I probably do want the vortex actually. Please be show and tell. Please be show and tell. God damn it. Oh, that's really frustrating. Oh, did I put a ponder back? I should have kept the ponder. Actually, don't remember. I need to draw force plus blue card here. All right, we didn't hit it anyways, so we're dead. We know they have Gristle Brand in their hand from a Kataxian probe earlier. Yep, I'm gonna beat sometimes. This is this is the style of deck that you want to play when you're running as good as we were running earlier. You just you just want to get people. You want to get people like that or Black Red Reanimator. Those are the decks that just give them like this decks. This decks nut draw is just like super pale in comparison to those decks. I don't think this deck is tier one by any stretch. I think it can be reasonably competitive. It's got some powerful things. It plays. Like I said earlier, it ticks all the good, most of the good legacy card boxes, but I definitely think this deck is worse than like Grits of Stelver and four color control in an absolute power sense. Blue, red, fair stuff is a good, good description. Seems pretty good. After this deck, we're going to be playing... Oh, I never updated my stream title. We're going to play some Jeskai Stoneblade. And then we're going to close the night out with some uh, Jund Nick Shift. Scape Shift, Burning Wish, Nick Fit. It doesn't even really put up that many numbers. We have added a new sponsor. Mac Weldon is a premium men's clothing line. They're sponsoring the stream now. Dr. Shaman, DJ Shaman in the house. I mean, like, if you think about it, Force of Will is a pretty obnoxious magic card. We just accept that it's fine because the things that it prevents are far more obnoxious. That, uh... Well, that's a hand. Days was what you could call the uh, the perfect draw there. If I could have stacked my deck, I definitely would have stacked a days on top. I'm gonna daze this force, then I'm gonna force their next force. And then they will have him to Torak plus Fleavold left as their only two cards, and we will have a Delver in play. Yep, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. The only reason we think Thoughtseize is really okay is because the things Thoughtseize prevents are far more egregious. Oh, they pitched Fleavold, right? That card's blue for some reason. 
So they have they have brainstorm him to Torak. So if they draw a black source naturally here, they're gonna take our last two cards away, which would suck. I forgot that Leovold was blue because the border is not blue, but it's definitely a blue card. Please brainstorm lock yourselves. Please brainstorm lock yourself. Please brainstorm lock yourself. Come on, you know you want to opponent. You know you want to. Tilt. Put a stop on my upkeep so that way if I don't want this top card, we can shuffle it away. Which I do not. We have a fatal push. Oh, such a good brainstorm. That was wrong. I should have played the island so this price does less to us. Should have played the island. I should be two points out fire here. Uh, I think I fixed my issue, SoCal. I'm recording. I think I'm recording in 1440 right now. Let me check my VOD from yesterday. I'm pretty sure my stuff went up in 1440 yesterday. I thought I was going to have to stop recording in 1440, but I believe I believe I sorted my issue. Oh, they're not actually. Weird. Yeah, maybe I should hold that because of Brainstorm. Sorry, some streamception there while I. No, they're in fourteen forty. Yeah, they should be fourteen forty. Strix into Strix, vomit. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we can cast a Bedlam Reveler here. That's our that's our get back in the game card. We can also can trip into Bedlam Reveler. All right, survey says our turn to hit a good one. You draw your fourth Force of Will. Don't you dare. Don't you dare cast your fourth force of will. You stop it right now. You, this just better be a pause because you're salty I drew a Bedlam Reveler. God bless us, everyone. Bedlam Reveler is so good in this deck. It's just like the type of card that can like pull this style of archetype back from a game where like it's just so far behind where it normally wouldn't have any chance to keep up. How you hooked up with the close bond, sir? There is an advertising agency that's working to advertise uh, via Twitch and they connected me with the, with the clothing sponsors. Hopefully it will lead to more things in the future if the numbers on the clothing sponsor are good. <sighs> Snapcaster push, yep. So they're down to one card in hand here. If we find another piece of removal or God bless a fork bolt, we could we could really be in this game. Fork bolt, cantrip. I'd a I'd have settled for uh I had to settle for a uh, another bolt. I wish more opponents in paper talk to me like you talk to your online opponents. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not quite this obnoxious in paper. 
I'm like mildly obnoxious, but not quite this obnoxious. Uh, vomit. I played the land out because I'm gonna need to play a fetch land to clear a brainstorm anyway, so I might as well play it out now. I guess I should have waited to bolt on my turn because um, it makes the bedlam bigger. Brainstorm, fork bolt, God bless us, everyone. So you're saying, so you're saying there's a chance. I would have a much better chance if I was at 10 now, if I had sequenced my land's light earlier. Oh, I did also miss a point of damage because of Bolt. That's fair. That is super fair. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what their four-color deck wants to play, Wasteland. They could be at one. That's true. We haven't seen, we haven't seen the last color yet. Yeah, yeah, we can. I'm gonna tap five lands to cast this force wall on basically anything they cast here, which is apparently nothing. Hey, what's going on, Minimally Viable? I guess paying mana for this is bad if they have Spell Pierce. Nice Fatal Pushes. Nice Fatal Pushes. I feel like we stole that one. I feel like I made a couple of mistakes and our opponent's just draw just didn't pan out. Is this a sulfuric vortex matchup? I genuinely don't know the answer to that question. Can we discuss? It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. Just uncounterable damage. Torment of Hailfire for 15. That sounds like good, clean fun. But count with my ex. Yeah, I'm just gonna run like this, I think. I like one smash for their silly strixes, like they almost certainly have four of those. Sand seems fine. True name is very good in this matchup. A bunch of ways to kill Dr. Shaman here. No, I don't think this is an idol on matchup. Maybe it's supposed to be. I could see that I could see it being an idol on matchup. Maybe idol on is better than better than Vortex. Well, I'm glad I wasn't planning on Swiss Spearing this turn, because I accidentally clicked through that. 
Yeah, against the fair decks, we basically just want to be blue burn. Eidolon is better on the play, that's true. Next turn, we can go Swift Spear Pro Bolt. Which is pretty good. That's a feel bad. That's a feel good. I'm gonna play the Swift Spear before the probe here so we get the extra point of damage in. It costs $20 to get on the list, Justin. So it, the, it, or it costs $12 to get on the list. So that means it gives them 18 extra for each bonus point. I know, I know you don't normally put things on the list with the normal amount, but that's how it works. This is dead. We're going to get him to Torak next turn. Things are not looking good for our hero chat. Hopefully we keep our, uh, our Bedlam Reveler. Hopefully we keep land Bedlam Reveler. Let me get rid of two of these three over here. Their hand is very, very good. I'm, gl I'm glad we have a game three. This is a whole new experience for you. I know. I, that's why I was. That's why I was nice about filling you. And I know you're not. You're not used to sending in donation decks for these tiny amounts. Well, those are literally the only two cards I wanted to keep. I guess it was two of the three cards I wanted to keep. We wanted to keep the land too. That's a good draw. That's that's a good draw. We are ten out of ten blasting the crap out of a brainstorm next turn. They have Brainstorm, Tropical Island, two cards I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully this can steal a game for us here. Please, sir or madam, I would like to blast you and then untap and draw a Brainstorm. Untap and cast a Blood Moon. Might, might squeak it out. All right, they have Trop, Brainstorm, one card I don't know. Land, 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 Yahtzee! All right, they've trop and then one card we don't know. Hopefully it's not abrupt decay. Ding. Yeah, they should be able to get a basic here. I'm hoping they don't have abrupt decay because then they could fetch and then float mana, but yeah, no spell pierce either. That's pretty good. Hi, wife. Hi. I love you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for pizza. Yeah. Don't slop it on your nice shirt. Don't she? She's met me before. <laughs> Don't slop it on the nice shirt. It's a blue red, blue red mirror match. Yeah, that that's that's what I'm okay not flipping to. Run them down faster here. Steal a game by being aggressive. Steal a game with Blood Moon. Just good clean magic.
I'm aware we could lose to Deluge here. I don't think we're beating Deluge regardless, so I'm just gonna play this out. Deluge me. Is not Monocle's Pizza, actually. It's from a place called uh, <clears throat> Joe's Station House Pub, I believe. That's what the box said. Christy. Christy got it somewhere in town. I'm going to mute myself up here and eat through the last two pieces real quick. I don't want to make people listen to me, too. I'm going to be back to the normal, normal banter and commentary here momentarily. No removal there is really good for us. As we know, they're brainstorm lock too. They eventually have like snap ponder this turn to get to new cards, but by and large, they should hopefully just be dead here. <clears throat> mm, they could have a shuffle plus a cantrip. But if they crack this fetch, then they're dead to either Delver here because they can gain two with the death right. So cracking the fetch means they need double removal at this point. Baleful Strix is their best card in this position. And even if they find that, they have to... Um... Whoa! That's a beating. All right. We got one draw step at a, at a red source chat. I definitely had opportunities to fetch Basic Mountain, but I just assumed they weren't going to be able to kill my Blood Moon, so I didn't really... All right, red source or can trip, red source or can trip, red source or can trip. Everybody says. Da 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 The more I play this deck, the more I think, the way I have it built, I probably have too many hedges for fair decks in this deck. Um, we 
We beat the two mid-range decks we played and we beat Storm, but we lost to Turbo Depths and we lost to Sneak and Show. So like maybe I just want more counter magic in my 75. It could also be that like Vapor Snag is a pretty good flexible card that like is pseudo reach can protect our threats and is like also very good against the depth deck. So like maybe maybe it's just some Vapor Snags. I feel like we got pretty unfortunate to lose to the Sneak and Show player. At any rate, I think if you're interested in playing a burn-like deck in Legacy, I think this deck is much better and much more powerful than traditional burn, even if it's not tier one in the format. Justin, with the 1849 salty bit, stop. Yeah, yeah, stop bringing him down on me. No, Mind Break Trap doesn't help the types of combo decks I think we're bad against. Yeah, I think I think Vapor Snag is a card I would be I would be interested in trying. I don't know what exactly I'd cut for it offhand, but like one to two in the 75 is probably fine. <clears throat> All right, at any rate, we've got Jeskai Blade up next here. Man, these these Legacy Leagues, they're they're a slog, chat. It's been it's been almost four hours and we've only played we've only played two leagues. What's what's going on with this? Where's the where's the 50 minute modern leagues and the the 90 minute hey the big fudge with the twitch prime support thank you for that and there's a lot of excellent people streaming on twitch right now i appreciate you choosing to put your amazon fun bucks towards my channel this month thank you for the support and welcome when am i gonna flip some coins the modern coin flip deck at some point people donated extra money for it today so i need to see need to see where that puts it on the all overall totals I assume we're going to get back to modern again tomorrow, so we'll see where things end up at. You'll see I'm missing a lot of the cards in this deck, so I'm just placing an order really quick with MTGO traders so I can pick up the missing stuff. <clears throat> the biddies did explode. The Weeb Army with the big sub, the tier three subscription. Thank you very much for that, that large amount of support. Um, be sure to drop me a private message either here on... Uh, Twitch or on Discord or on Twitter and let me know uh, what you would like your complimentary donation deck list for the month to be. All tier three subscribers get a free donation deck list every month included with their subscription. Take a picture for Twitter. Back now with the two month three subscription. Have more fun bucks. My wife loved the little one on the swing the other day. On the, uh, was it on the zip line? Cause that was, Declan really enjoyed that. We're gonna have to take them back to that gym. Use all my bits towards that terrible deck in the queue. Which terrible deck? You can subscribe from mobile using your mobile web browser, using that link right there, Fleckmister. Otherwise, feel free to do it, you know, whenever you make your way back to a desktop computer. It's everyone for hanging out here today for a, for a legacy stream. We've got a couple more legacy decks before we wrap the night up. So everyone for hanging out. Remember, I'll be live again tomorrow afternoon with some modern. And then uh, I'm actually off Thursday morning this week because I have a dentist appointment, but I'll be live on Friday. And then I need to coordinate with the waifu and find out if I can stream Friday, Saturday, or Sunday night. Do another weekend stream since I'm home. Oh, the only one that says terrible. Sounds good, Justin. Sounds good. Need to re-kick magic online. Do we have mono red prison in the queue? Not for tonight. I think it might be in there. I forget. There's just, there are so many things that I add and subtract, so many things that I lose track. Check the, be sure to poke in there yourself and find out. Enjoy, enjoy the sellout page here for a moment. Or one of the sellout pages. We have multiple sellout pages now.
Impossible for a donation deck list to tell you a base idea, but you build it and optimize it either on or off stream. I don't do deck building on stream just because it tends to be a bunch of people shouting shouting ideas at me and nothing being productive. But for a larger than the base donation amount, I'm willing to, I'm usually willing to build decks around a reasonable deck building constraint. Usually, usually for a 50 plus dollar donation deck, I'm willing to fill in the details myself by and large. Cause that does, that does take a little bit of work. Make this stupid second highest donation badge go away so I can see my new badge. Um, I think you can toggle which ones show up there, Justin, but I'm not 100% on that. I know I don't control it. Yeah, if you change it, I think you can control which badges show up in your settings. All right, let's pop back on in here with Just Sky Blade. 